What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Darkest Dreams AU. Now there's only part one. And is there part? Is there more? Yeah, there's only uh, part one end, epilogue, and part two. So there's only three parts to this. But before we jump into these three parts to see how this story goes, I would like to shout out another one of my friends. This is Taco. Taco is a very good friend of mine that I did have issues with for quite a bit, but recently we've recovered our friendship and now things are going quite well. Taco is a very cool person and I recommend everyone check out their channel. They do put a lot of effort and time into the content that they make. Not only that, they have 1. Uh, 1,440 something subscribers and they're very close to their goals. So go ahead and give them a hand by helping out. Anyway, we're moving on. We got three episodes of an AU to go through. Let's see what we got. I can already tell by looking. This is some fuck shit. Uh, yeah, I like this, by the way. I did. This is how I found it. I was scrolling and I liked it. But look at that. What in tarnation? Load shotgun. Pow. All right. What in Celestia's sake was that scream? Have I shot something different? But I never miss a shot. Okay, that thing should be... Oh, no. No, 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 no. This can't be... I can't have shot an innocent. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, shit. That's dark. Uh, Darkest Dreams AU. Status is paranoid. Hasn't been the same since Granny Smith disappeared in the woods. Carries a gun everywhere she goes. Can't believe that her grandma was eaten by a wild animals because of what she said before disappearing. Will not stop looking. Has been having strange dreams, but can't contact Princess Luna about it. Everything felt stranger when he showed up. Uh, she cut her tail because it's grieving. So Applejack is uh, paranoid. Interesting. So we go to the next two episodes here. So that's a little bit dark, honestly. That's a little sad. She shot an innocent thinking she was shooting something that deserved to be shot. But let's see what we got here. Epilogue. Apple Bloom, are you seeing this? Nope, sis, I can't see nothing in this fog. Why though? Are you all right, Applejack? What are you seeing? Applejack? Be extra careful with the moonlight, Applejack. Hear your grandma well, Applejack. He'll come get me this night. This is a bad omen. What the fuck? When Luna was banished, many ponies who depended on night were left aside. The night became harsh and they got unsatisfied. So they isolated themselves and formed a night society in the hopes of getting in contact with their princess again. After years of literal, uh, what the hell does that say? I don't know. I can't read that. We're able to contact Nightmare Moon. They devoted their lives to her. In exchange, their kin born different and their crops were bountiful, but only if collected at night. Those new children of the night were different from any cult or filly. They were pure white, resembling, resembling the pale moon colors and their horn and magic were stronger at night. But so were their appetite. Thanks to them, they slowly extinguished other pony villages by hunting and eating their villagers. It was a little taste of revenge that Nightmare Moon could have up from there, seeing her kin massacring her sisters. But Celestia took action and hunt down almost every single one of them, and eventually their groups grew weaker and smaller until Nightmare Moon became Luna again and got unbanned. There was only a few individuals left before that. Some even part ways from the group, but did not forget their tradition. This old granny is a descendant is one of them. She kept a secret shrine on her house to continue having bountiful crops, and now he's back partially because of her. Y'all will meet him soon. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Part two. Meanwhile, on the other side of the camp. Oh, that's uh, the one that got shot. What the, did I just get shot? Oh, my vision's getting blurry. I don't, I, I can't die like this. Shit, shit, it hurts, it hurts so much. Why someone hurt me? I was just trying to eat. I should have just ran away from bringing that old nanny to the woods, but I couldn't wait for another meal. I was so hungry. Mother Knight, I'm tired. You're giving up? Just when you were so close to our goal? I know, but it hurts so much. Remember who's the Eternal Knight's uh, Harbin Harbinger? Is that how you say that? Harbinger? 
or something like that. I created your kin for a purpose. Bring me their dreams and make sure they remember ours. You're right. Phew, I almost lost myself there. But I'll honor my devotion. I can't give up now. Not when the best part barely started. What the fuck? I can't read that because the fine related content bar is in the way. Do you think it... Oh my god, that's really hard for me to read. After all these years, I doubt it. Don't say nonsense, Fluttershy. I'm starting to feel conscious again. Who are these voices? Well, we did have to increase on missing ponies. Did you think this kid will wake up soon? He seems odd. Who are these? Where am I? The Nightmare Plague will be explained on the next caption. Oh, okay. Darkest Dreams AU, Moon Dancer. Powerless at day, so it's much more friendlier. Uh, highly carnivore was the reason of the death of several cows from Applejack's farm. Doesn't have a cutie mark. His body was built for survival, not friendship. The Harbinger. I'm just going to call it the Harbinger. I hope that's accurate. One of the few last of his kind, Children of the Night. He was the one who sensed Granny Smith's altar and also the one who made her disappear. Can't be trusted. Still thinks that Nightmare Moon is alive and insists on completing her last mission. Nobody suspects from him, yet. Pretends to be a foreigner since the legends of his kin are long gone. Likes Fluttershy for some reason in a friendly way and totally delusional. Okay, it is cute. Discord doesn't approve but can't incriminate him because Moondancer is powerless at day and can't be found at night. Follows Fluttershy around a lot. She often gets confused if it's him or a strange looking cat. Oh, that's cute. Well, I mean, it's a good story. I do like the story and Applejack killing an innocent. Actually, it's not really an innocent. It is technically like evil, but you know, hey, wait, what is this? Oh, there's more. We're going to read this too. In this AU, monarchy is a tough battle for power, where one can only inherit it by having a bloodline of privilege or by deserving it with a great patronage and a life dedicated to intense studies. After proving yourself worthy of titles, the pony gains a specific mark. For Wait, does this have to do with the same EAU? Celestia is dead. Holy shit. Um... I don't know what that has to do with the same AU. But if more episodes... When was the last episode released? Alright, it was released 12 days ago. From at the time of recording this. It is a good story. I really like it. And something that has to do with Luna. And a more evil side of like Luna. Like Nightmare Moon. I do think it's really cool. And I really think the art is super good too. And just seeing Applejack carrying around a gun is like... Interesting to me. Because how the hell can a pony carry a gun without hands? But you know, that's just me. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. It was a very good story. I do enjoy this one for as short as it was. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. And uh, if you want to check this out, it'll be linked in the description below. So yeah, check it out. And that's all I really got to say. So, peace. Fuck, I'm lying. Can't even make this perfect timing. I'm always